welcome back to Anderton's TV, everyone. I'm Ben, and today we're looking at a range of mid-size acoustic guitars at different price points. Um, we spend a lot of time, I say we, I mean guitarists as, as, a, as a species, spend a lot of time talking about dreadnoughts uh, and other types of guitars, but we thought we'd concentrate on the, the guitars that fall between your big dreadnought uh, and your little parlor guitars today. So we've got a selection uh, and we're going we're gonna to go in price order. So in our, in our first category, which is guitars that are mid-size under £200, we've got this, which is the East Coast uh, G1S, which is a grand auditorium size guitar. Um, we have done videos on this one before, I believe. There'll be a link down below in the description um, if you want more details about it. But I'm going to give you a quick overview of it now. It's got a solid spruce top. Um, I believe the back and sides are laminated walnut. Um, but this is, you know, I think this retails at £129, which is, which is pretty incredible, really. Um, with all the East Coast stuff, I've done quite a lot of the East Coast guitars now. The finish on them is always really nice. There's no kind of fret ends sticking out, and they're playable. Um, you know, the action's good. It is, obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a budget guitar, right? So it doesn't have the same kind of uh, fixtures and fittings that you might get in some of these more expensive ones. But as a beginner's guitar, or even if you just want an extra acoustic guitar that, you know, you've, you've already got a dreadnought, say, and you just want another guitar to be knocking around and take out on holiday camping around campfires or whatever, this is a great choice. It's, it's nice and loud. Um, as I say, it's comfortable to play. It has got, it's got a reasonable dynamic range. Obviously, we, we talk about this a lot on the, on, on the acoustic videos and, and about when you get to the kind of more expensive guitars with all solid construction and all that kind of thing, you're, you're getting to a guitar with a, with a much bigger dynamic range. This has a fairly limited range, but it's £129, right? So for that mid-sized guitar, I think it's a great starting point, I've got to be honest. I'm going to do some more playing on it. I did some kind of strummy, chordy stuff on it. Um, let me do some more finger-picking type things, because... The, the, these kind of mid-sized guitars, the OMs and the Grand Auditorium type shapes, are really, really popular with finger pickers, um, instrumental and kind of singer-songwriter type, type people, because they do offer a nice kind of balance across the frequency spectrum. Um, sometimes you can find with a dreadnought, you get a bit kind of bogged down. There's a lot of low end stuff happening. These have a nice tight low end, so it's it's great for the kind of more balanced finger picking type stuff. I'm going to stop talking about it and actually do some. It's probably a good idea. Let me have a little play of something like a kind of ragtimey thing, I guess, because that's what I like. <laughs> It's, it's a super fun guitar to play. It's also worth noting that although we do bang on about dynamic range, some of my favorite guitar sounds, you know, the old kind of country blues stuff, those guys were playing Stellas and Harmonies, which didn't have a huge dynamic range, and that was part of the sound. So although often, you know, you're looking at these guitars and we're, you know, we're comparing them to these, these models here. You don't always want that. Sometimes you do want a guitar that has this kind of sound because it's a cool sound, right? Um, also, you know, the, it's 129 pounds, which is ridiculous. So when I think about, you know, some of the guitars that I played when I was starting out, um, which were complete dogs, really. <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a first guitar, if you want to get into playing steel string guitar, this is this is an excellent choice really especially if you're after something in this mid-size shape so there we go really the east coast if you're after a, you know if you're looking for a guitar under 200 pounds you want to experiment with a acoustic guitar in this kind of shape or you just want to get into playing acoustic guitar for the first time this is a really good way to go i would say there we go the east coast g1s it is our first contender for the uh, the sub 200 pound category 
It's a lot of fun. Doesn't have a pickup. That's fine. It's an acoustic guitar. Let's move on to the next, uh, our next category. And we're going to be looking at this, which is the Alvarez. Um, what is it? The Alvarez MF60 OM. So we're into the first of our OM body shapes. Um, this currently has a retail of £449. So it's in our sub £500 category. It's part of the Alvarez Masterwork series, which means that it's a completely solid wood construction. Okay, We've got a, um, a solid Sitka spruce top. The back and sides are mahogany. It's a mahogany neck. Um, they're great. The Masterwork series guitars are really, really good. I have to say, I've got one of the, the MDR70 um, dreadnoughts at home, and I've been playing it quite a lot recently, uh, and it records really nicely. So, I, But I've not actually played this one until now, so we're going to see what it's like. Being an OM, which stands for orchestra model, if you've always wondered what an OM sounds like, um, the original OM guitars, much like this one, which we're coming on to in a bit, were Martin guitars. Um, it's a smaller body shape, kind of a narrower body depth than you might find on some guitars, but it's a really, really popular finger picking style shape. Um, I'm going to play it. <laughs> rather than just talking about it, I'm going to play it so you can hear what it sounds like. We'll start with some kind of strummy stuff like I did before, then I'll do some finger picking. But this is the Alvarez. Um, for what you're getting, <laughs> £449 is a remarkably good deal. There's no pickup on here. Brilliant. You don't need a pickup. It's an acoustic guitar. You can put a pickup in later. But here we go. Let's try some strumming. So there we go. The immediate thing that I notice between this and this is just the richness, for want of a better word, that you get from, from, from this kind of construction. Um, I'm a real fan. Uh, spruce and mahogany, I think, work really well as a combination. I really like mahogany as a body, as a body wood. Um, this guitar, again, like all the Alvarez stuff, the finish is really nice on here. It plays great. The action is nice. The frets are all good. So we really, I'm just going to talk about the sound and how it feels to play, really. Um, the, the Masterwork series stuff, like I say, it's all solid wood. With an all solid wood guitar, when you're buying an, a, a guitar that is a new all solid wood guitar, it's going to change as you play it and as it gets older and the wood dries out and changes and all that kind of thing. So, uh, and it will start to happen quite quickly when you start to play it a lot. So you really need to try and like there's a there's a break in period for solid wood guitars I find, um, which is fun because you get to just play them loads and then they sound better, which is lovely. This this one already sounds lovely, so I know that it's going to sound better when it's had a few hundred hours playing on it. I'm going to do some finger picking on it and let it speak for itself. But but again, like some of the guitars I've had over the years, <laughs> which which were you know nowhere near. The price point this is but we're nowhere near as nice as this as well you know like, this is this is a great sounding guitar i'm gonna do some finger picking because as i say these guitars are very suited for that uh some ragtime stuff maybe some folky stuff i'll see what happens because i like playing this so i'll just noodle for a while i think <laughs>
I don't know where I went in the middle there, but it's <laughs> it's a nice guitar to play though. That's what I mean. Um, it's it's just a nice guitar to play. I I kind of I I, I could keep talking about it, but really. I think I've said all there is to say. It's it's less than five hundred pounds, and it's an incredible guitar for that money. Um, I'm going to move on to our next price point now. But that is that's the Alvarez MF60 OM. Uh, it's a it's a great sounding guitar. It looks cool as well. I really like this scratch plate, um, and the, you know, and the binding and all that kind of stuff is really nice too. This is it herringbone or is it something? I can't remember what they call it. But there we go. It's all solid. It looks nice. I believe it comes with a case, but I'm not entirely sure about that. It will be in the description below, so you can find out there where you can also click like and subscribe and leave me any comments and messages. I'm going to move on to this next one. So now we're into the kind of the more premium end. Um, those of you who are keen acoustic guitar spotters will know that this is a treble 015, which is a Martin classic. So the treble O size is. Um, now, I get very confused about Martin body sizes. I believe that the treble O and the OM share a body, sh body shape, but the neck, uh, the scale length is different. But then I looked at these and they feel the same. So I'm not sure. You'll have to check the specs below. Um, I'm going to play them. This, is, this being the, o, the treble O 15 ME, it's all mahogany. So it's mahogany back, mahogany top, mahogany sides, mahogany neck. Well, actually, I think, yeah, it's, it is a mahogany neck on this one. It's got the cool tuners, the open gear Grover tuners. Um, it's a classic, you know, it's a classic. I know, I know Pete likes to play an all mahogany treble A15, I think is my, his main acoustic guitar of choice. Um, I really like them as well. I'm going to play some stuff on them. Sounds expensive, right? <laughs> it's a, I mean, it's a beautiful guitar. It's a classic for a reason. I know that, uh, we were talking about, I spoke about it earlier about how guitars get better the more you play them. I think Martin have like a tagline that is something along the lines of, it's, it's never going to sound worse than the day you buy it. By which they mean that the more you play it, the better it's going to get. The more it matures, the sound will open up. But you heard there the enormous dynamic range that this has got from you know really quiet finger picking all the way up to the big loud strums it handles it all and it just is really nice it's really nice it's a lovely guitar um this one i think is currently at 1500 but i think martin there's been a price increase so it might be up to about 1800 check below for prices and links and more specs and things um i'm going to do some finger picking on this when you're into this kind of price range um you are looking for everything to be really tip top, and it is. Um, it's, it, it seems pointless talking about the finish on Martin guitars and stuff because it's always impeccable, really. Um, but th this is really nice. It's a satin kind of. I'm not sure if it's open pour finish, but it's just it's just lovely, and it is a guitar that makes you just want to sit and play it. I find. Let me do some finger picking so you can hear how it sounds for that. Spoiler alert: it's going to be great.
is a beautiful guitar. It's got lots of low end on this one. Um, when you've got a mahogany top as opposed to a, a spruce top, it does change the tonality of the guitar somewhat. Um, I find that it does tend to have a more pronounced kind of low end and low mids, which is great if you want a more pronounced low end and, and, and you know, low mids. If you don't, get a guitar with a spruce top, but if, <laughs> that's not strictly true. I make it sound like mahogany top guitars are kind of not bright. They are bright. Top marks all the way through. So there we go. It's a beautiful guitar. It's a classic, the treble 015. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful guitar. I think it's time to move on though to the real high-end premium mid-size guitars that we're looking at today. And that is this. The absolute classic. The uh, the OG of, um, of OM size, if you'll pardon the terrible pun there. This is the Martin reimagined OM28. Um, it's it's beautiful, isn't it? It's a classic. It's a classic guitar, really. Sitka spruce top, uh, East Indian rosewood back and sides, um, solid wood, solid hardwood neck. They're a bit they're a bit vague about what the neck is made of. It looks like mahogany, um, but there we go. This is the kind of current. Um, OM28 that Martin are doing. It's it's had various tweaks over the years, but the reimagined version is their, their kind of current current one. This is the most expensive guitar we're looking at today. This is uh, in the under five thousand pound category. Um, I think the retail on this is about three thousand six hundred, three seven, something like that. Uh, do check below for the current prices and specs and things. I'm going to play it, and I'm just going to enjoy it. I hope you do too. It's a beautiful guitar. Um, I'll talk about it more in a bit, but for now, here we go. go I mean <clears throat> it's it's a beautiful guitar <laughs> it should be you know it's an expensive guitar the thing when you're when you're looking at guitars in this price range um, obviously all the materials all the construction methods all the craftsmanship that's gone into it is all super high-end it is a lot more expensive than some of the other guitars we've looked at obviously it will hold its value, if not get you know more valuable, unless you put a hole in it or something. Um, so there is that aspect of it. But also, it does have all the things that we do go on about, the dynamic range and everything. Is there if you need it. It sounds super rich. It's a really hi-fi sounding guitar. Um, the, the, the nice thing I like about the mid-sized guitars as opposed to like Dreadnought or something is that you can wrap yourself around them a bit more and the OM size, this, this kind of OM body shape, because it's got a narrower body than something like the Grand Auditorium shape or a Dreadnought, you can really kind of wrap yourself around it if you want to. The whole thing, you can feel it kind of vibrating and resonating and doing all that good stuff. Um, so there we go. Obviously, it's a lot of money. It's, you know, 3,600 pounds, but 
you don't have to spend that much. We've shown, you know, with this side of this kind of to my right, we've got some guitars that are considerably cheaper. They're still really fun guitars to play. They still have the the kind of essence of what makes a medium kind of mid-size guitar you know what that vibe is but it's not three and a half grand if you've got three and a half grand this is a beautiful choice um i like them all <laughs> which does i know i should be more but but it's trying to compare something like an east coast to this isn't really a fair fight is it because that's 129 pounds this is 3700 pounds they each have things I like about them though. Uh, and if you're looking to get into playing mid-size acoustic guitars, you could do a lot worse than start this side. I mean, if you can afford the Alvarez, that's gonna be, that's a very, very good choice. Uh, and then if you're looking for the premium mid-size stuff, um, we've got a few other kind of options, but we thought the this one and the, uh, the Treble 015 would be just a really interesting place because they're kind of benchmarks for this style of acoustic guitar. Um, so let me know what you think. If you're into playing guitars this size or if you're thinking about kind of taking up playing acoustic guitars and you're looking at an OM or a triple O size or even a Grand Auditorium, um, let me know what you're, you're looking for in a guitar and uh, comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We're going to be doing lots more videos of this kind of thing. Let us know what you'd like to see videos on and we'll try and oblige. But in the meantime, here we go our mid-size guitar comparison at different price points. <laughs> Catchy title, right? We've got the East Coast, that's less than 200. The Alvarez is less than 500. The Martin Trebolo 15M is less than two grand. And then we've got this, which is the reimagined OM28. I've got that right. For some reason, that won't stick in my head. The OM28, which is uh, 3,600. Thank you for watching Anderton's TV. This is Acoustic Paradiso. I've been Ben. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to play out on... Alvarez, I think, because I like it, basically. Let's go down to drop D.